in field with the space shuttle endeavor left Kennedy Space Center this morning on the back of a 747 when it got to Houston it did flybys around town before finally landing at Ellington Field for a one day layover here in Space City. A live look from the air right now shows the scene there. Traffic's been busy all day long. Right now, Highway 3 is jammed with people hoping to take advantage of this final opportunity to see a real shuttle in Houston. And Fox 26's Domaly Keith is live right now at Ellington Field where Endeavor is currently accepting visitors. Hey, Domaly. Hey, Melinda. There is a VIP in town, a very important piece of history. Retired Space Shuttle Endeavor is right here behind me, getting quite a warm welcome by all of the Houstonians. It uh, came in from Kennedy Space Center this morning, making its way here to Houston just before 10 a.m. and you know she is quite a sight to see. She looks a little different in person on TV. You know it looks like she's made up of a sort of a white sheet of metal like an airplane but when you get this close you can clearly see all those tiny tiles we hear so much about on TV. Soaring what seemed only slightly above ground, this had heads all over Houston tilted toward the sky. It's really amazing. Endeavor, enjoying a free ride on this 747 shuttle carrier, did a few flyovers. It's funny to see a shuttle getting flown by an airplane. Paying visits to the downtown skyline, the San Jacinto Monument, and making its way here to Ellington Field. It was just incredible. So you drove out here with your husband, but he had a knee replacement, so he couldn't walk to the shuttle. And you left him in the parking lot. Left him way over there. Sure. I'm definitely going to show him the pictures. <laughs> you two can see the shuttle and get a glimpse of history here on display. The things that we've been allowed to do and discover and learn, you know, because of. You know, what we see here today, it's just, it's awesome. Some here also saw the now retired shuttle Endeavour launch for the last time last year. Oh, you guys were obviously there. Yeah, yeah. we were there. It was phenomenal. Really? Yeah, so, yeah absolutely, absolutely yeah. beautiful. It's a once in a lifetime of experience. Mm -hmm. Many in the Space City are still upset the shuttle isn't here to stay. But coming to Ellington to see Endeavour will be a time many will reflect on for some time. Cool. Here you might also spot other VIPs and astronauts like Mike Foreman who flew Endeavour in 2008. We were in space for 16 days on that mission, so we actually set the record that time. But Mike isn't the only one with a title. I saw a couple of princesses who just aren't sure what all the fuss is about. Is there anything about it that surprises you? Well, like, how, like, dirty it is. This little lady says the shuttle screams, I need a makeover. Um, 50 decorations on it. You will put about 50 decorations on it. Like little hearts or crowns? You know, decorations are so important. Get it out of here quick before those little girls bedazzle it. <laughs> a bedazzled space shuttle. What's not leaving Houston is the full-sized shuttle mock-up that's at Space Center Houston. When it opens, the advantage of the attraction as opposed to the real shuttles is visitors will be able to go inside. 